wants to go to the beach, when he wants to go to the pool, I got to be in shape. I got to be ready. So guess what? I can't be out with credit. He's eight now. So in 10 years, he'll be 18. I don't care. I don't care if he's a, a, an athlete in high school and all that kind of stuff, but I still want to be able to run with him because he ain't going to get to listen. He ain't going to be able to beat me. I'm a small one. I'm still going to be getting him at 52 years old. He 18. Come on, son of that right. I'm still going to get him. See, y'all don't even get that. I'm still going to get him because I'm his dad. So I got to stay in shape. So I got to put the work in. Then what I do when I come back, when I finish my workout, now there are three books, Seven Habits, seven habits of Highly Effective People. I read a chapter of that. Rick Warren, The Purpose Driven Life. I read a chapter of that. And then John Maxwell, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. I read a chapter of that. I'm doing all that before 3.30. Then I got a big old whiteboard, probably about the half, half the size of this, in my bedroom, sitting up with markers, and I start writing out my vision and my plan for my life just so I can stay on course. Because if I don't write it down, listen, listen, those of you who want to be successful and you know where you want to go and you know what you want to do, get it out your head and put it on paper. Put it down on paper. Put it in your phone. Put it on your iPad. Put it on your laptop. So every time you open it up, don't nobody want to see no selfie of you. No. Open it up and you should see your vision. How y'all on Facebook? Come on, raise your hand. I'm not about to ask you to be my friend, really. Raise your hand if you're on Facebook, Twitter, or some type of social media. Raise your hand. Raise your hand, y'all. You know your little AOs? Raise your hand. Okay, let me ask you this. How many of you keep your hands up if, you, if you're on any type of social media? Raise your hand. Including Instagram. Thank you. I knew it was more. How many of you have your vision or your mission statement for your life posted on Facebook, Instagram, or one of those social media? Keep your hand up. So the world knows what you set out to do. And that's good. Listen, that's what you want people to see. That's what you want to be able to see. Nobody care about how cute you are. Who cares? I don't care what you have. Quit taking pictures of what you ain't. Nobody care about that. Where are you going? Are you putting the work in? Are you working hard? Are you leaving a legacy? I said, this, watch this, watch this. This, this is something that, that I use for me as, as a direction and a guidance for me. And, and this is something that came to me, God gave it to me. Listen, ordinary people will only believe in you. Some of y'all want people to believe in y'all. Some of y'all want people to cheer you on and encourage you and pat you on the back and all that kind of stuff. Listen, but you're looking for it in ordinary people. People that's trying to work hard, trying to make they ain't thinking about you, they're trying to get their own. Listen, ordinary people will only believe in you once you make it. That's why I said on that track I was playing earlier. Ordinary people will only believe in you once you make it, once you get there. Extraordinary people will believe in you and will help you make it. They will help you make it when you have nothing. So they'll help you make it because they believe in you. Extraordinary people will put into you, will pour into you, will strengthen you. They'll do more than encourage you. They will labor with you. They will grab you by the collar. They will throw you up against the wall. They will do whatever they have to do to keep you on course. They will not just tell you good things that you want to hear. They will tell you what you have to hear. Because they believe in you. Extraordinary people will do that. Ordinary people. When, you, when you're not putting your full potential in it, when you're not giving your all, ordinary people say, that was good. Oh, great job. But you know, extraordinary people, when you give it your all, when you give it your best, you know what they're going to say? Yeah, that was good. But you could have done this, and you would have gotten this result. Yeah, that was great. I'm not trying to knock you. Keep doing what you're doing. But you really didn't give it all. But here's what you should have done. Here's what you, yeah, 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 you came home with the B, and that was good. But you know what? You could have made an A if you would have studied just for two hours longer. See, extraordinary people won't let you listen.